Morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Zomagot BBQ with Supercard Video number four. And wow, things keep getting better and better. First of all, I finally found Biggie Dude on a stream. It was getting to the point where I never actually thought I'd find the guy. He was kind of like a myth that just posts videos on YouTube and had 39,000 subscribers. A day later, I get a shout out from the guy and then he calls me awesome and that people should subscribe to me crazy how things change in all of what six days since number bit one went online thank you biggie it means a lot i can't really pass on the favor to you because a shout out to you is like a blip in terms of how many subscribers you have it's over 39,000. um but if you don't already subscribe there's a link in the description below go and check him out if you haven't done it so already guys hilarious has fantastic videos on the subject of our videos here we now have more than 200 subscribers and on the last video had over 600 views that's amazing support and keep it up if you like what you see please like subscribe and pass it on to your friends this is all about having fun and i'm stoked that the reaction has been as amazing as it is thank you all so much so on to the content of the video First of all, I wanted to talk about something that happened last night. We've got a Q&A session that happened with Game Dad, the guy who actually is the designer and the creator of the game. Now, there's been a couple of things been muted recently that's been rumoured and also been said by Game Dad. It's kind of like a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. The first thing that came out was this Q&A, which is actually more to do with the NBA version of Supercard, which some of you, I imagine, would play. If you don't, worth checking out. It's a bit interesting, kind of similar format. Uh, the first thing that's definitely been announced is a lock card feature. And the lock card feature is actually designed to stop people trading away. Well, I'm not quite sure how you do it. Your best cards, so the Road to Glory cards, the PCC cards, and your Survivor Fusions, etc. And the idea is, is that you will not be able to trade those away if those are locked in. But more information apparently is going to come out soon in regards to that. A new update is going to be released. They are thinking about increasing the level of cards that you can actually have in your deck at any one time, which is awesome to people who are at the top tier and have got all the cards they need um, and a pro to everyone they need. Um, but the biggest news I think coming out of it is that they are going to be doing something around the PCC of rewards to actually entice the people who are the top players to continue playing, which I think is quite a good idea in all fairness. It could create more interest in the game and make the, the older, more popular people in the game who are finishing in the top five all the time in the original People's Champion events come back, which with the newer breed who are consistently in the top five nowadays, can actually create a, an amazing amount of competition. So more on that when we hear from, from Game Dad. Uh, New tiers, nothing's being said too much, only that something will be happening around about WrestleMania time, which is only now two or three weeks away. Um, Road to Glory is actually on that weekend, so I would not be surprised to see a card such as Shawn Michaels or Undertaker, but we'll just have to wait and find out. All we know is that he has said and confirmed that something and some things will be happening around that weekend, so I can't wait to find out. Leave your comments below as to what you think is going to happen in WrestleMania weekend. Whether we are actually going to see a new tier announced, a couple of new fusion cards announced, or do you think it's just going to be a special road to glory? Uh, Degni on the forums, or Degni on the forums, not how to, show how to pronounce his name, um, has um, given a really good idea of having a road to glory undertaker and having everyone he's beaten beforehand, having um, Brock Lesnar as the survivor card because he obviously broke the streak. So that could be an awesome idea, but we'll find out sooner or later. Um, there's a couple of programs that I'm looking at starting coming up in the channel, which should obviously get more subscribers, get more people interested. And those are um, linked to the Fusion cards, as well as getting a regular placed fifth, a one to fifth placer in the People's Champion event onto either a video for YouTube or alternatively, getting him on a stream and he has said yes to it, which is awesome. We're just finalizing some details. Hopefully we have more when it happens. And I'm hoping to make that a regular segment, something where um, the guys at the top of the game can you know, come on and talk about how they play so hard, because it's not something I can do. I work on a Saturday. It's 
not something I physically have the time to do and it'd be awesome to find out what their tactics are around you know, getting to those higher positions. So with regards to people's champion itself this weekend we've gone from the high heights of 8th to the, well I wouldn't say low lows because there's only almost 200, 300,000 people playing this um, to actually 105 in the world, that's pretty good still. Um, the simple point is not being able to play so much, I'll be playing this evening, uh, streaming this evening so I'll just get yourself on, follow the Twitch link which should be in the YouTube video anyway. Yeah watch, get involved. Um, if you want to come on Skype and do a bit of a chat then just ask, it's, we're all open for it. I may even be hanging out on Edward's channel, um, again link in the comments below, um, check it out. So, not going to go too much into the detail of PCC because I've already given you some gameplay footage. I'm just going to keep this one short today and I'm actually going to give you my King of the Ring rewards. Um, I had a really easy King of the Ring and uh, I, the, the fusion cards are doing, giving me wonderful results. Uh, as you can see, people aren't even trying through half the games to even beat me over against. I, I stopped trying in the semi-final because I knew I was going to be the guy. A uh, bit of a risky move. Um, but yeah, I've, I've run every single King of the Ring I've been in since Fusion cards come out. So all we can do is keep claiming the rewards and hopefully we end up getting that, that uh, Forsaken Rock or Hulk Hogan card that I've been looking for for ages to give me that pro left arrow. Fingers crossed we get it now, but if we don't get it now, then hey ho, it doesn't matter. We just use it as fusion food. So let's get the rewards claimed. First of all, we're going to get a gold dust, that's a fusion food, and a Ted DBRC. Not the greatest rewards you can get. Probably just going to use them uh, for fusion food alternatively just to level up my new pros, which are HPK and Sting. So, who are you going for in PCC? Are you hoping to get one of the Gold Dust cards in the top 850? Are you going even further and trying to get some of the additional rewards? Or are you one of the people who are in the top 5 at the moment, pushing so hard to get a top 5 ranking? Um, what's your newest Fusion card? Were you lucky enough to get that additional Pro that you've been looking for? Is your Road to Glory deck ready for the next Road to Glory, which starts next Thursday? Um, and who do you think is going to be the next Road to Glory card? Do you think they're going to go back to a D.Va? Or do you think they're going to continuously do the everything but left arrow until WrestleMania when inevitably someone like Undertaker comes up? Leave your comments below. Give me a follow and chat on Twitter, and or join the next Twitch stream, which is going to be this evening. Um, I've had an awesome time watching the video, and peace.